a lot of chicken and rice, eggs, like fried eggs, and just a lot of fried food. I mean, nothing that I was too, like, crazy over, not gonna lie. I mean, the best stuff we couldn't even eat because of, like, safety reasons. Um, if you can, in Peru, get permission or whatever to eat ceviche. It's like, like raw fish and just amazingness, like with lemon and it's like really spicy and yeah. So that's a really famous like plate in Peru, and it's uh, yeah, that's amazing. I mean, there's um, amazing food out there. Um, I'm not the one to ask as far as like what the specific plates that people really like are called, but my love out there was what is called Inca Cola and it's um, It's just an amazing soda that it's um, yellow has like a blue label and I'd always get like a liter of it every day in a glass bottle and kind of just uh <laughs> it just, I don't know, I, I would drink um, either a liter of that or, you know, the Mexican Coke that they have every night when I got home, just to kind of wind down. I mean, I have like a terrible um, soda drinking, I don't want to say it's a problem, but yeah, <laughs> it's probably a problem. But yeah, so out there, I would probably drink like just a ton of Inca Cola, Coca Cola, probably up to like, like either a liter or more a day. and. It was just amazing because their Coke is amazing with real sugar. And the Inca Cola, you definitely have to to drink that. Um, just an amazing drink. And uh, and you, if you try it around here, it doesn't do it justice because it's prepared differently. So, But yeah, there's uh, the food's good. I mean, it's nothing I was too crazy about ever. I, I mean, just a lot of rice and chicken and... Yeah, I mean, <laughs> there is great food out there, but your pensionistas, which are your cooks, at least we had to have one. Um, we gave them money each month, and I don't imagine that the money that we gave them was sufficient to really prepare these amazing plates or dishes, you know. So, but yeah, it's uh, it's not, it's definitely not bad, but it's nothing that I was so like crazy over. So. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah the Inca, yeah I, I was uh i was pretty obsessed with like inca cola and, and their their coke down there so yeah it uh put a damper on me when i got back because with the corn syrup it's not nearly as sweet so i always have to pay the extra dime to to buy the mexican coke at like costco or something like that